hello guys welcome once again till now with our qt uh, tutorials we have seen how to make a simple uh, login page with your qt creator gui application so when i uh, enter some username and password and when i click this login button it shows me uh, the status whether my login and uh, my username and password is correct or not and my login is successful or not so when i click it i see the username and password is correct or otherwise if i enter the wrong password then it says me it's not the correct username and password in this video i will show you how to open a new window if your username and password is correct so generally what happens when you log in if your username and password is correct then you uh, are directed to the next window which is the main user interface of your application or otherwise if your username and password is wrong then you will stay to the same login page until your username and password is correct so let's start by making a new window or creating a new window so i will go to edit and i will go to file and i will say new file or project and in here i want to add a qt application so i will go to qt and qt designer form class and click choose and you can choose the template what type of template you want so i want the template dialog without button and i will say next and you can name your second window so i name my second window as employee info window so here i will perform some uh, action or some task related to employee data using sklite database as we are using sklite database in our previous videos also so and then i click next and i click finish so you will see a new window which is blank right now and here when i go to edit i have one login dot h and i have this new dot h file called employee info dot h and new cpp file called employee info dot cpp and new ui file called employee info dot ui so first thing what i will do is i will go to this login dot h and i will include first of all this employee info dot h in here because i want to be able to call this from my login page so i will say include employee info dot h and it's included and then i will go to my login ui here double click it and i will click my login button which i have shown you in the last videos and i will go to slot and clicked okay and this is the code i have shown you for the login button or login application so when you log in this was the code which i have shown you in the previous video i think video number eight or nine i have shown you how to make a login um, button action perform so in here what we need to do is if our username and password is correct so here in here where this count is equal to one if you don't know this code just go to the video previous videos and see where i have shown you 
the login application using Qt. So it's in the playlist of Qt tutorials. So just go there and watch the video where I've shown you login application. And in this code where I have written this if count is equal to one, what I will do is I will just cover it with these curly bra brackets and here where count if the count is equal to one we have we are showing the message on our label that our username and password is correct and if our username and password is correct we want to open the new window and hide this login window right so first of all what we are going to do is we will display the same message our username and password is correct and then we will say this arrow pointer hide so what this will do is it will hide the current page which is our login UI and then we will create a object for the second window which is our employee info dot h or employee info dot ui so we want to hide this login page and we want to open this new employee info page so what we are going to do well first we will make employee info object and then what we will do here is we will copy this object and we will say dot set model true so this will set model is equal to true and once again I will copy this object and I will paste it here I will say dot exec okay so I will I have written these four line of code in order to hide the present page and run uh, and open the new page right so now I want to check whether my program is running or not so I will click this run and I will say save all and it will build and it will run so it's showing me some errors that I have this I don't have this destructor or constructor so let's see what can I do I, I will clean my project so I will click build I will click clean all and once again I will go to build and I will s run this QMake so this QMake is successful and once again I will build my project so let's see this time if my build is successful or not and you see it this time my build is successful so when if you get any error just clean your project and run QMake and then build your project and now I will run my project it's running so first I will enter the wrong username and ID so and let's see what happens so I press login and it says username and password is correct that means we are not going to the second window we are staying to this window because m my username and password is not correct and now let's see what happens m when my username and password is correct so now I have given my username and password correct and when I click this login button it opens my second window or my employee info window and it has disappeared my login window that's what I wanted 
so in this way you can make the project to open the second window on successful login so i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something new this time please keep watching these video and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now